Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blocked Flow. Today I'll be covering a tour inside of the Inquisitor Master's Princess Mansion. Let's get into the video. The Fairy Tale Office. Her office is a fairy tale themed room with all the magic and fairy tale stuff. There's an aesthetically pleasing wardrobe stand. She hangs her favorite clothes on the stand. Every wall has vintage paintings that enhance the aesthetics of the room. There's a huge castle painting on one wall. It's very huge and very beautiful. A very pretty fairy tale chandelier hangs in the middle with princess pictures which she got from a vintage shop and bought immediately. One of the sides has a desk where she works, plays games, and records all her videos. There's a white carousel horse. The desk has all the pleasing items from squishy donuts to music boxes. The desk has every stuff related to a fairy tale. There's a small table with a royal tea set, and the room visit ends with a grand white throne of hers. The macarons because they are my favorites. The Princess Robert Room. This is a princess themed room which is a guest room. The grand bed has the roses carved on it and a very beautiful royal chandelier hangs up in the middle. It's so comfortable. There's an office desk for the squad with a pink chair and a fake vintage telephone for decor. The room was prepared and painted by her parents when she was on a trip. Vintage paintings are another beautiful part of the room. Overall, the room looks elegant and decent, all dipped in pink. The Grand Staircase. The first thing that catches attention immediately is the Grand Staircase of the mansion. A big royal chandelier hangs in the middle, giving up the royal look to the area. It was painted by her father into a golden color to match the royalty theme. It's the biggest one in the entire house, even bigger than her size. The handrail of the staircase is also painted golden by her mother. The whole area looks soothing with its royal charm. See here is vintage. I really love Vintage. The living room. The living room is themed on the Rapunzel movie. The ceiling is the exact copy of the painting in the tower of Rapunzel the movie. The white royal sofas are beautiful with comfy cushions on which the dogs of the house love to rest and sleep. The living room used to have carpeted, but now it has been replaced by a marble floor. It looks regal and elegant. The decorations and mirrors are all vintage stuff because it's her most favorite theme. The set of the two royal chairs completes the look of the room. There is stuff from Disneyland along with other vintage stuff. Disney Globe is her most favorite as she got it when she first went to the place. One of the shelves has Disney Castle and Golden Roses and other vintage stuff. All the switchboards were replaced by princess covers for the switches which add to the beauty of the walls. This is a photo where we went to- The kitchen. There is an open kitchen right beside the living room. It is decorated exactly to match the living room's theme. The size is a set of the dining table. The chairs are huge and based on a royal theme. There's a very beautiful nature-like painting. In the center of the table are some Disney decorations like a princess carriage, etc. The most favorite part of the kitchen is a vintage fridge. It's not like a normal or modern fridge. It's a custom-made vintage fridge, which was very hard to get. There are fairy tale books placed on the shelf to add to the royal theme. The cabinets were painted by her mother to match the theme with cute little gold details that completed the royal look. A modern fridge at all, and no stores had anything that looked vintage. The Haunted Library. This room is quite different from the princess themed house. It's a haunted library with shelves full of books and creepy stuff. The chandelier is in the middle of the book spooky. There are Chucky dolls. One of them is custom made. There is a vintage box that holds the creepy stuff, among which is a hunted doll. There are weird cat paintings on a wall and a shelf with spell books, fake potions, and magic items from movies. The most exciting part of this room is the secret door. Nobody can tell there is a secret door behind one of the shelves. There are offices of Inquisitor Master and her brother. Oh my god, this doll went viral. Literally, if you just google haunted doll, she appears. The Star Wars room. This is a dreamy galaxy room. The walls are painted like a galaxy and the ceiling has a very cool swirly galaxy paint around the globe. There is an office desk for the squad members. It has the mic and other stuff to be used for playing games. The desk is made by her mother on the Star Wars theme. There's a giant character of a death trooper on one side of the desk and the other has Boba Fett from Star Wars. The eye-catching thing is the arcade machine, a gift from her manager which has Star Wars games on it. The shelves have the plushies and other figures from movies. One cabinet is full of Star Wars characters. Most of her collectibles and figures are found in this room. The dream house tour comes to an end here. The other rooms are still in the process of getting modeled. Her dream house reveal was so magical. A Hello Kitty Chucky plushie. This was really hard to get. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.